Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel with a new video about World of Tanks. Today it's another short uh, commented replay, it's not even a full replay because the beginning was just boring and completely useless. Um, so I'm just repositioning to, toward my base and defending and I had the luckiest game ever, I mean not in terms of RNG on my side, I missed a lot of shots, but I should just have never survived this game. I. I didn't understand afterwards, afterwards, I was like, no, I still don't believe what I just saw. And I'm going to see the replay with you again, and trying to commentate it uh, at the same time. So originally I was in G8, where now there's a lot of opponents. Uh, we have been completely overwhelmed, and I was forced to move back, because you know, the E25 is quite invisible if you stay at medium distance. You don't even have to be at long long distance but still they were coming uh, very very close to me I had to move back if you spotted in the E25 you have to move back because you have absolutely no armor and everyone will love shooting at you because they know you you are deadly and you have no armor so it's an easy kill for them so logically I fell back to to my base now I am trying to put some shots here but I, I don't have much of him, actually he moved. I was going for the frontal dry wheel to track him, now he's tracked, I can try uh, the turret. Uh, the turret can be penetrated if it's not angled. Here the sides, at this distance, at this angle it's a 50-50, so the commander's hatch is easier to penetrate, but it's harder to shoot. So I just switched to my gold ammunition and I was trying to get a non-angled part. So that's a penetration, but it's not a guaranteed penetration as you just saw, it can still bounce. Anyway, we are losing 2 to 6 and they are pushing forward from two directions at once. And the logical thing here is to just fall back to uh, the bottom left corner. It would be the safest option for me. But we are losing, well, we were losing 4 to 8, and if I keep falling back, I will not have the opportunity to, to win this game, because I can't win alone. So just a free kill in a very short amount of time, but I traded a lot of shots. I am now on quite low health. Uh, this Yak Panther just got taken down. Uh, at the moment, he was reloading, and he would have killed me. And I still have this 80 15A on my back, so I have to move up. Very dangerous, uh, just because this T29 is aiming at me. I have very, very little health. I was surprised uh, he didn't shoot before. He got absorbed by my tracks, very lucky here. And there's uh, this small, narrow path here. Um, very few people know about this, mostly artillery players know about this, and since I like to hunt them, I know about it. So I should have died probably five times by now, I'm still alive, I'm not spotted, so I can just go back and try to put some additional pressure. Uh, now the game is almost won, not entirely won, it's 11 to 8, but they still have a lot of health among their remaining tank. And it's not the case, at least not for me, and not for uh, my heavy tank, which is close to me. This comet is brave, he's trying to, um, to outflank and circle this T29 and whoops, he ended down, well not in the river. I don't remember him drawing, uh, he will be useful afterwards, but still he's in a very very tricky situation. And the T29 got actually the, the good reflex, he pulled back so he's able to, to get both of us in, in a short arc so he won't have to move a lot his turret from left to right and also he's not in a situation to... Um, he can't be flanked and so called anymore. So it was the right thing to do, plus he's proximity spotting me, which is very dangerous, I can't help my teammates on the left part of the battlefield. And now the comet is harassing and trying to mess uh, with this T29, so I'm taking advantage of uh, the confusion, although the RNG completely messed up my first shot, and now I have to pull back, 
got a lucky shot there on his commander's hatch while moving backwards and I get the finishing uh, blow. It was indeed awesome, I should have died another time uh, from this T29 but the comet helped me a lot, he didn't give up, he was very useful and that's almost the end of this replay. So yeah, as you can see I should have never survived this game, I couldn't believe it. Hope you enjoyed it, thank you for watching and see you in the next video.